Hi there, I'm Stasha, the period coach, and I'm here to talk to you about gross blood and why we think our blood is gross. I chose the word gross because I have a Twitter boyfriend. If you follow me on Twitter, Stasha Health, you may have met my Twitter boyfriend. This is a guy who is a right wing Trump follower gross person and I chose the word gross because he was trying to argue with me on politics on Twitter and I was disengaging with him because you know you're not going to change someone's mind on Twitter so um I didn't realize it when I had started talking to him I, I didn't know um so I don't think I started talking to him I think he commented on something I posted anyway it doesn't matter the fact remains at some point after I had stopped talking to him, I just stopped talking to him. It's not like I announced I wasn't talking to him anymore. But I stopped talking to him, and he actually said that um, he had looked at my bio and said that I was gross. Because my bio says I'm the period coach, and I work with women in menstruation, and I teach business women how to use their periods to run their cycle, and all, you know, whatever. Whatever I fit into 140 characters. So he said, I read your bio, you're gross, stop talking to me. To which I said, I was going to stop talking to you, but now we are going to be fast friends. So now I talk to him all the time, <laughs> or at least whenever I'm on Twitter, which I'll be honest, is not a daily thing. Um, he saw that I was the period coach and called me gross because I work with bleeding. So I'm gross. And I thought, you know what? Let's talk about why periods are gross in one of our video chats today. So why are periods gross? Because of the patriarchy. Uh, that pretty much just sums it up for you right there. Um, we evolved not thinking that periods were gross. We thought periods were magical until the male-dominated religion started taking over the world, right? So we moved from matriarchy to patriarchy. In that moving from matriarchy to patriarchy, the Men did not understand what was going on. They turned our red tents into a punishment, which is going on still today in the world. Look into India. Uh, my good friend and co-conspirator uh, for the summit, actually, Sadiksha, is Indian, and she's very uh, vocal in what's going on in her home country about this issue. Um, so follow her if you're not. Um, women die to this day being forced out into a hut or being pushed out into uh, the elements when they're menstruating because they're dirty. This is a religious construct, not a human construct. It's, well, I guess religion is invented by humans. Um, but it's the patriarchy. They developed a religion that put one man, a god, a male figure in charge, and took away the power of women. And with that, took away the magic that was in our cycles. Later on in human history, the Catholic Church did a very good job at pulling women away from their menstrual cycles. And the Indian religion, um, Hinduism, did a very good job at pulling the magic out of women's menstrual cycles. But I would have you know that all of these religions did not start out this way. You know, there are stories of goddesses from Hinduism giving their menstrual blood to their gods as a healing elixir. There are theories anyway that Mary Magdalene was not this evil temptress that the current church makes her out to be um there's stories from around the world of goddesses of heroines of women queens priestesses giving their menstrual blood as healing elixir uh, a lot there's a lot of theory out there that things like the nectar of the gods is actually menstrual blood um that menstrual blood is healing it is healing um 
and that a lot of the reason that we are thought of as being so dirty and that our blood is so dirty is because religion knew that it was healing and that women could use it to heal and nothing should heal you but God. So a lot of the problem was this patriarchal view that if a man can't heal you, then it needs to be just pulled out and violently from the culture. The only way to do that is to turn it into a taboo, to have us as women reinforcing the taboo upon other women. So periods are gross because we've, been taught this and it's not our fault we can't know what we don't know um but now we have this cool internet that we can talk to each other over and we can undo this damage so periods are gross because we don't talk about it periods are gross because we reinforce the taboo amongst ourselves it's time to stop it it's time to let it go and it's time for women to support other women and to talk about it so please talk about it um, one of the reasons that I did the Red Circle Summit, link above, is to break the taboo and talk about it. The more we talk about it, the less the taboo holds its power. So I hope that you have watched the Red Circle Summit, or you are watching the Red Circle Summit, or you are clicking the link above to watch the Red Circle Summit and learn more about why our blood is not gross. And in fact, learn why our blood is super healing and amazing. So I will see you on the inside.